Stone Age people knew how to exploit prey animals carefully and understood what can be made from different parts of a carcass. Handling of a prey animal started with bleeding it. Like all other parts of the carcass, blood was carefully preserved. Handling the carcass itself started with cutting the belly open with a sharp stone knife. The best tools for these were made of hard types of rock, like quartz or flint. The opening cut for gutting was performed very carefully, so as not to tear the skin too much. In this task, it was important to keep in mind the future usage and symmetry of the hide. After making the cut in the belly skin, the abdominal wall was open for gutting. The job is done extremely carefully to keep the internal organs undamaged. The next stage is removing the intestines and the stomach. After that, the internal organs like liver, kidneys and heart were removed and stored. Internal organs were valuable because they were the most nutritious parts of a carcass. That is why they were never thrown away. The bone marrow, eyes and brain were also on the menu. After the internal organs had been stored, the animal was skinned. The skin was first drawn, which means that necessary openings were cut with a stone blade so that the skin could be pulled off. After that, it was easy to carry on skinning by hanging the carcass from a stand. Skinning was started from the legs that were broken off at the joints. The purpose was to get the skin off as whole as possible. The tool used is still a sharp stone knife. The skin is then spread on the ground to cool and wait for further processing. After that, the long back strap sinew on both sides of the spine is detached to get sinew cord for sewing and twisting. Also, the long sinews of legs were removed and stored to make thread for traps and clothing making. Long sinews were also used for bow strings.